Twas the night before David's birthday went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even his siblings. <laughs> and when his alarm rang out loud, he rose from his bed and gave a mighty stretch. And with that stretch, he yelled, It's my birthday! It's my birthday! It's my birthday! As if you couldn't tell, David was an exuberant 14-year-old boy. <laughs> And when his older brother came walking down the hall, he stopped him in his tracks and said, It's my birthday! Oh, cool. Here, take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag birthday something. <laughs> <laughs> now, David was a little disappointed that his brother only cared enough to take a selfie and post a hashtag. But hey, maybe his little brother Josh would care a little more. When he came over, David said, It's my birthday, Josh! Wait, no! Josh didn't get as excited as David hoped he would. But here comes his sister Melanie. And David said, It's my birthday! I have no time for chit chat. These flies are really annoying me. <laughs> Flies all gone, his little brother Nathan walked over and David stopped him and said, It's my birthday, Nathan. Hey, they make a lot of wishes, bam. <laughs> Gonna make a lot of wishes. David was running out of siblings. Who was left? Ah, the triplets came walking by. <laughs> it's my birthday, aren't you guys excited enough? No, it's your birthday every year. Ah. Wait, <laughs> that means a party. Let's have a dance off! Yeah! <laughs> now David was really upset. Not even thing one, thing two, or thing three cared enough about little David. <laughs> While David was wondering why no one cared, he had a thought. Light bulb! <laughs> Surely his mother of all people would care about little David's birthday. It's my birthday! Oh, David, it's good to see you! That's very nice to know. Oh, this is Gigi. She'll be helping me with your birthday plans today. Oh, oh, yes. Daniel, is it? David. 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 David is all about you. Yes, he all is about all you. All about you, David. Glorious David. What a party. Your mother has such a party for you. I do have such a party for you. What are the Decorations. Pre French neoclassic. Swans on the front lawn. <laughs> yeah. You love that, don't you? Yeah. Okay, noble orchestra. So fascinating. We're going to go with string quartet. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Appetizers. Uh, frog liver. You're going to love this one. Frog liver canapé. Um, birthday cake is trop passé. We were thinking prune flambé. Daniel, I mean David, we just want you to know it's all about you. It's all about you. It'll be fabulous. Fabulous. Now David was distraught. While well, all that sounded so good, his birthday was supposed to be about him, not the selfies, the food, the wishes, the candles, and the dancing. Freeze. Now let's rewind for a minute and take a look at how his birthday should have gone. <laughs> birthday should have gone.
Now this is how it should have gone. This was more about David and less about the other things. Before it was just about the cake. Now it's about the person who made the cake. His birthday should have been about hanging out with friends. Having a jolly good time on his birthday. And the time is Now, let us not fall into this habit of worrying about the party details. Let's focus on the true meaning of Christmas as his birthday and why we should celebrate. Because it's about the birth, not about the decorations. Thank you all. Yeah.